Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the different properties of rock. In your packs you should have a table of results for your observations to be recorded in. So the four types of rocks I have which you will need to write down in the left hand column of your table. I have sandstone, I have chalk, I have slate and I have pumice. The first test we are going to do is the scratch test. And I'm going to use a paper clip for this. If you have a rock at home that you have collected from outside, you can also test it and add it to the left hand column and join in with me. So let's start with the slate. We can see there clearly scratches on the slate. The pumice might be a little harder to see but when I scratch it, I make a scrape and an indentation. You might just be able to see it near my finger here. Sandstone, again, some scratches clearly visible here. And you can even see on the sandstone, there are particles coming away. The chalk, again, this one seems very soft and very easy to scratch. I don't know whether you can see those scratches too well with the light, but I can see them. They're just there, three scratches. Now I'm going to test whether they are permeable or impermeable. Permeable means that water is absorbed into the rock and will be able to go through it. Impermeable means that the water will either stay on the top or in a droplet or roll off. So let's have a look at the slate. I put a water droplet there and it is staying in a droplet. It is therefore impermeable. On the chalk, I put a droplet and it is actually being absorbed by the rock. You can see the droplet disappearing there and it's absorbed into the rock. Pumice all very quickly absorbed into that rock and sandstone again quickly absorbed into the sandstone. Now I'm going to see whether the rock is can, will float or will sink. So let's have a look. I have a beaker of water here and we will drop them in one at a time. First of all the slate that very quickly sank to the bottom. Now the sandstone, again, very quickly sank to the bottom. And the chalk, again, it has sunk, it has got caught on the slate, but if I turn it round, you can see there it is under the water. Now then, what about the pumice? The pumice actually floats. Please record these observations in your table and then write your conclusion.